Hey everybody, I has a bag. And in this bag, I will find Lego stuffs. This is another BrickLink order from BrickLink that I got by going to BrickLink.com and placing an order and paying for it. Uh, sorry, I haven't been doing quite as many videos just over the past handful of days. I've been handling other stuff and taking a little bit of break and doing a little bit of uh, mental work to, to get through some creative block on some some custom stuff that I'm trying to move forward on. Uh, to open this bag, I has a knife, so I'll be using this one here today. It does not have a, the bag does not have an official little pull tab, pull tab on it to get in here easily, but I'm gonna be careful with this because I don't know how this is packed, but I'm getting back to stuff now. Ah, this does appear to be a sticker sheet. Is there a sticker sheet? In here, no. Nope. Something else. Right. I'll get back to that, but let's see. Here we go. Uh, this has the part list in it, my invoice, and it has identifiable information on it. So, uh, not going to be sharing that. I placed this order specifically to get more pieces for cyberpunking stuff for uh, the Melon Bee District. I realized that I didn't have as many bright neon type colors as I wanted for pieces. So this will, this will help with that quite a bit. And you can pretty quickly see what all is here. I also wanted to get some of these. I want to stock up on them just a little bit, this black color introduced in the Fantastic Beasts uh, set, uh, Grindel Grindelwald's Escape. Uh, I believe that was the first one to get these. I might be mistaken on that, but I wanted to get some of them anyway. And I did. These are just in light blue. And then a bunch of neon colors. Some of this is, is uh, Nexo Knight stuff. Some of it is not, but purple there as well. So all will be useful for you know making things look all neon. These are just clear, just some extras. These are gray, always nice to get gray doors and windows. Uh, just useful to get some different textures. Just a little bit of fill in on some pieces that I happen to be low on again. Uh, neck pieces introduced from Minecraft, just interesting parts. I haven't found a good use for those yet, but I know that I will fairly soon. Uh, let's see, uh, some more neon. These are the white, little modified tile, I guess, pieces with the mini peg on top. And these are, oh, the clear ones with the horizontal bar on top. It's a stud, stud on one side and then horizontal bar on the other. Typically used to allow minifigures to hold stuff, but uh, I'll, I'll be using it. I already have used them for other stuff in just regular building to get some interesting techniques. And then these are the clear versions of the, the inkwell style piece, the modified tile. Uh, these are just smoky colored these are black got some red and also these studs open stud uh with the bar on the side modified piece super useful got some brown inkwell pieces these are printed just a couple extras of those white windows i used one of those on one of my buildings we get into here Let's see what else Let's see what else is here uh, uh. More neon stuff. These are actual large window uh, inserts. Oh, the lime, not lime, the spring green colored door or window inserts. Also got some in white and some in gray, just a regular gray. More neon pieces. Ah, yeah, these will definitely be used. Probably some of them with some stickers placed on top. Some additional additional ones of these just because I like the the shape, I like the appearance, and the store had some extras. I always keep those on my, my want list. And then these are just foliage pieces. Kind of classic ones. Not the best looking, but still good to get a little bit of variety. Are these all in the same size? I believe they are. The smaller size, I believe. Yep. Cool. And that's just that. So that's a BrickLink order. And uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff will be used in the Melonby district for doing cyberpunk conversions of existing stuff and also 
changing or actually adding in some some new custom things i'm going to focus on conversions for the time being just to be able to get more more stuff done more quickly you know to fill up that space but i'm also going to be doing more work on the the main city itself we got a couple of major uh releases coming up here pretty soon but focus right now for me needs to be on the city and on custom stuff so that's the direction that you'll see me moving and uh yeah i'll be talking to you again as soon as i can hopefully the next video will be about a custom build that is in completed for now status <laughs> talk to you then okay i spoke too soon uh i pulled this out uh, earlier and said that's something else because I saw that there was an envelope inside and I don't didn't know what it was going to be about so rather than interrupting the flow of the, the regular haul video I uh, just was gonna just look at that on on my own time but it had an envelope in it and it has in it a letter and I wanted to take a moment to read this because it's it's very kind and it's actually uh, just good to see uh, the, the content of it uh, not for selfish reasons but because of it basically it just shares a little bit of a story of more people enjoying lego <laughs> which is something that i really appreciate seeing so uh, without showing who the the seller actually was jang bricks as a preamble i would like to thank you for everything you've done in the lego community as you share your passion with the rest of us it has really been an inspiration in more ways than you can imagine. In fact, through certain synchronicities, my wife and I ran into videos by you and Brickzar, and therein found out that the LEGO community was vastly larger than we could have ever imagined as we thereafter sampled LEGO videos of all types when our journey began nigh a year ago. Just a year, and they already have a Brickling store. That's a, that's a, a pretty quick progression. Uh, having spent quite some time within our proverbial dark ages, so to speak, of course, as we adults uh, very frequently tend to do, we had no idea the depth of the AFOL community and LEGO itself, though we are incredibly grateful to have been exposed to such as our lives have changed for the better. This, of course, led us not only to create a Bricklink store, <laughs> but more importantly becoming lego collectors and builders again yes yes my ultimate goal is to create mocks and perhaps share my lego journey through youtube sweet but i'm still tentative about that idea uh, since it would take a lot of courage and commitment to pursue it i hear you on that and it makes it makes me nervous just thinking about it but who knows again i i hear you and i feel you and it's good that you're you're thinking bigger about it um, you know, it's good to, to go through those thoughts, though at some point uh, you may want to just take the plunge, see what happens. If you don't like it, take a break from it, maybe learn, try again. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, different, different folks will approach things differently. But, you know, definitely uh, not unfounded fears and concerns there. In any, any case, it's really awesome getting to see your reviews many at a time, especially since it gives us something different and interesting to watch and listen to when we're parting out set sets and such. So, so this is a husband and wife pair who actually uh, watch my videos while doing their Bricklink store stuff. And their Bricklink store was started up by them getting back into Lego, which was partly inspired by videos by me and and others that they found it's it's a, a a lovely what is the opposite of a vicious uh cycle a vicious circle uh it's i don't know just a self-perpetuating spiral of goodness i don't know what, is there a term for that it's always intriguing getting to see what kinds of what kind of lego sets are available since there's just so much tell me about it that we have missed over the years and there's even just so much just from year to year new stuff being released we also incredibly enjoy what you've done with new jang city thank you we're also really looking forward to see what the new cyberpunk theme and idea will turn into well you guys you are helping directly i know that they are watching this so this is partly me kind of responding to them but uh know that you have directly influenced that somewhat with your selection of pieces that you have in your Bricklink store that you've made as a result of, of all of this. So yeah, thank you for 
making this stuff available to me at reasonable prices and uh, yeah know that when you see some of these pieces in in Mellonby as I've just mentioned they're because of you so you're already helping in return uh, we hope the streams of life help you in all your journeys and beyond best of luck to you and yours best of luck to you two and yours if you have others or if you have others to come in your family thank you bricklink sellers thanks to all good bricklink sellers and most bricklink sellers are good in my experience whether they are uh, full timers who do it professionally and primarily for profit or those who are doing it full time and love it or those who are doing it just part time on the side of a hobby just because they have some extra pieces left over from their own collections uh, i've had mostly great success mostly great experiences with the fewest of exceptions with buying parts from bricklink sellers uh, with used sets you've heard from me a number of times that uh, you know i've had some some frustrating bad luck with with little things but never any uh, I've only ever had one bad experience on, on BrickLink, uh, and uh, that seller doesn't even sell anymore, so uh, definitely an exception, not the norm. The norm is good. Uh, thanks again to you. You know who you are who wrote that, that letter, uh, and thanks for providing this service. Uh, I feel much better now. You've just made my day better, and I'm looking forward to using some of these parts more than ever so uh, thanks also to you viewers the rest of you for watching and i'll talk to you again soon for real this time that's it bye 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 bye